Welcome back to The Charismatic Voice. You know that we read your comments and that your comments influence what we do next on the channel. Many of you have been recommending that we cover more of Kill Switch Engage, and in particular subscriber Bartleby Achilles' comments. I can totally recommend their cover of the song Holy Diver by Dio. It evokes even more reminiscences of operatic singing and is a well done but also funny nod to Ronnie James Dio. I love opera, and I love Dio, so thank you very much for the recommendation, Bartleby. Let's get to it. I'm, I'm getting some really strong Holy Grail vibes here. I just, uh, I need some coconuts. Yeah. But also, the knight character kind of looks like the character that Dio plays in that music video. I think maybe, I think it's a wig. I think it is that's happening there. And I feel like they're trying to call back to Dio's hair. Not sure. Uh, but yay for castles! <laughs> Howard Jones's vocals. It's there. And they're good. He's not afraid to use his whole mouth to make this sound very similar to Dio. I mean, Dio for me is just one of, if not the greatest rock and roll voices of all time. So when I see somebody do something that's similar to Dio, I'm like, yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> he's just, he's amazing. But at the same time, I feel like there's such a high bar that an artist has to live up to if they're going to do a cover of a great song like this. So you have to be a solid vocalist to attempt this, even attempt it. And Howard Jones is just, just delightful. I can hear already like this beautiful, beautiful connection to his sound. It sounds like he's really leaning on that support. So definitely getting into... Um, Essentially, lower breathing apparatus is where I think that connection is coming from from him. We're going to go back a little bit. That's one of the, that's the drummer, right? Oh, oh. <laughs> this made me laugh extra because it reminds me of the turkey legs in Disneyland, right? Wait, um, Guy, uh, was that on the bass or the guitar? Guy, one of the band members has really long black hair, it looks like. So maybe that is actually that band member and it is in a wig. I might have been totally wrong. Whatever it is, those are gorgeous black locks. Yeah! We're brushing his hand first. Oh, 
okay, two really awesome things. First of all, I believe that Howard Jones is playing the blacksmith from the original music video by Dio. Little wink nod there. I see what you meant, Bartleby. There's there's a funny wink and nod to the original. I I like it. Um, but also I I like some of the like screams, the high screams, a little bit of distortion on them that Howard Jones is putting in. <sighs> He's got such a full, gorgeous sound that has so much power behind it. And then when he goes up high and adds a distortion too, it's just like a really well honed instrument. Diamonds, like the eyes of a cat in the black and blue. Something is coming for you. <laughs> The, you hear, or I hear at least, and I hope you'll hear after I mention it, um, there's a lot of really gorgeous spaciousness um, and he has like a, a full throated sound essentially where it sounds like his natural genetics maybe have more space kind of in the back of his mechanics and then he's able to sustain it and have this really long line as it's coming out where he, so when I talked about that connection to a lower breathing place, that's definitely something that you see a lot of with classical singers where we don't necessarily think about the sound coming out from here, but often we'll talk about it coming out from our diaphragm or sometimes even lower than the diaphragm, your pelvic floor muscles are the lowest muscles that support uh, the voice. They actually restrain the diaphragm from going out too quickly because if it goes out really quickly, all of your air just disappears and you don't have a really long sustained line. And some people will even take that further mentally and think about linking to their feet or their knees or going into the floor with their support, just having this mental idea of essentially a lower source of resistance or energy that's being used to project that voice continually forward. I know that might sound a little counterintuitive, but if you're a singer or just a speaker of any kind, you might give that a try and notice how that affects your vocalization. For him, it sounds like it's coming from a deep spot and that helps with the sustaining. Like the eyes of a cat in the black and blue, something is coming for you. <laughs> I love the eyebrow raise. Eyebrows speak louder than words. There's so many characters in here from the original video. That there's some hooded, but I think they're red hooded characters in the original. But there's a character that has like red eyes at one point. I think that's calling back to it. Uh, I I just appreciate how Howard Jones has an incredible clean voice. It's got so much power, robustness to it, um, beautiful, relaxed vibrato on it while having um, just strength that feels like it can shake your bones. But then he goes into harsh vocals and definitely has both lows and highs in his harsh vocals as well. It's like he's, he's able to pick and choose from so many different vocalizations in his throat and has honed each of these very well. I think he's an incredibly, incredibly talented singer, but not only talented, it seems like he has developed all of these facets of his voice, which makes me think he think he is an incredibly driven and dedicated person as well.
what a cool way to bring those two together using the harsh vocals essentially to make little accents between and then go straight back into this beautiful, beautiful melody. <laughs> And there's like something about his vibrato choices also remind me of Freddie Mercury. Um, maybe eventually I'll just say that someone else reminds me of Howard Jones. I feel like that's how you know that a vocalist has made a big imprint on somebody. Uh, I greatly, greatly appreciate the way he's using so many different colors and tools to add to this. It's it's great. You know, there's it's a different taste of a really great song. Holy diver, you're the star of the masquerade. No need to look so afraid. I also have to say, uh, he has a little call-offs that Dio often does. He's got a number of those in there. Holy and also the way he bites off of er, holy diver, ah, does that, which is a very Dio-ish thing. Masquerade. That also is a, a Dio-ism. So there's lots of little things that he's added in there as respect as it should be given to the master Dio. Holy Oh, cool. Hey yo, we got some layering of both clean and hard. Ah, I like that. <laughs> this is hilarious, the faces of reading. There's, I think one of the guys has a shirt that says hell on it. I'm wondering if that's a heaven and hell reference. Integrity, I'm not sure what that's referring to. I bet though it's a reference of some sort. Also, can you imagine getting to film a music video like this in a castle? I just love it. Like, ah, right. I just need to cosplay and, and go take a bunch of pictures in a castle or something. That's, that's an itch. <sighs> There is a lovely layering there as well, right? So Howard Jones is singing this incredible melody and then you have like a growl that's happening underneath. <laughs> it's so cool to hear those layers. I love the humor in this. I, they've obviously taken a lot from the original, but have added some of their own uh, plot twists as well. Uh, I'm hoping for a moment when we're going to come back and take a closer look at Howard Jones's mouth. I almost paused it and looked back at that moment earlier, but I was like, God, oh, we'll see more of his mouth later. Uh, it just, I mentioned that he moves his mouth a lot or he's not afraid to move it. And I want you to look at, oh, anytime you see his, singing face, not his blacksmith face, when you see it come up, 
just look at how much movement, how open his mouth often is. It's it's beautiful. It's great enunciation, great singing. Yeah. <laughs> wow. And again, with some beautiful layering of a top belted holy diver and then a low, harsh holy diver happening. It's so cool. Wow. He's just so successful in combining the two. They feel a lot more seamless than I've heard in a lot of vocalists. I feel like there's often like a very, very clear switch between I am singing clean vocals and I am singing harsh vocals. And he does uh, transitions between them very quickly and uses often the harsh vocal to sort of up the level of energy. <laughs> like you have a high note and then you have a harsh vocal. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, kiss the blade. <laughs> Howard Jones is a powerhouse vocalist. His ability to switch between the cleans and the harshes uh, was revelatory to me. And not just because he can do it really quickly, but because of how he does it. I feel that instead of having a switch of an idea, it's more of a build from one idea to the next, a continuation of a phrase or a sentence. Very, very interesting. I'm curious to hear more or definitely hear more of that kind of continuation of energy between those two styles being used. Very, very interesting. You all know that I love Dio, but if you don't know that I love Dio, here's a playlist of me gushing over Dio and analyzing his vocals over and over and over. Go watch some, it's so much fun. And I hope to see you again soon.